What were you reading, Doctor? One of those political spy thrillers Captain Rogers is always heads down in? It's actually a medical journal on bi-specific antibodies and the treatment of hematologic malignancies. Just some light reading. I hope you learned something that could give us an edge in battle. We need every advantage. I feel the same. I've found that when I keep my mind sharp, I make better use of my body. In truth, I've been in survival mode so long, I don't know where to find my own off switch. Just know your limits. When you burn a candle to its ends, the light quickly fades. Your concern is noted, Hunter. I won't overdo it. Well, I should get back to my studies. Medical journals do not read themselves. But I'm working on that. Chatter points to large numbers of soldiers crossing borders, mostly in Eastern Europe. Lots of talk about Transia. I could not have predicted this outcome, but it is intriguing. Here if you need me. If you can beat Carol in a straight fight, I'll let you skip training. Good luck with time to take it to the next level. I feel stronger already. See you around. Uh, give me a sec. Okay, what's up? This should be interesting. Sometimes, I even impress myself. Some of my best work. Oh, 
Until next time. Looking for company, Logan. Funny, you strike me as a loner. Who, me? I like people. Problem is, people usually don't like me back. Well, we need your skills, so consider yourself liked here. And my apologies about the circumstances. When you get to be my age, you end up carrying so much baggage people would rather leave you in the dust. So, uh, thanks for not leaving this old man behind. You do not look old. I'm over a hundred, kid. You're probably thrown off by my supple skin. I am over three hundred. Old is only as old as you feel. Then I must be ancient, because I feel every single one of my years. You carried them very well. I could keep listening to this kind of flattery forever. Well, you are welcome to stay here as long as you want. I gotta admit, Sarah's got a pretty swanky setup. Puts Xavier's bad to shame. Some people think it is a little... spooky. A spooky place for spooky people. <laughs> Seems like home. We call them betting odds. In the army, we call that hard intel. Hydra hasn't been this active since my Howling Commando days. There's something going on that we're not seeing.
Hydra's mystics are trying to open one of those rifts. It probably goes without saying, but we can't have them summoning abominations from the other side. Digging deeper, reaching for something to call for. Consider another profession if I were you. You need to stop them. Intimidated by flunkies.
You've been practicing, haven't you? We've knocked another mystic out of the ritual. Almost there. Let's try something different. to stop that ritual now. So we need it. Does Hydra even pay you enough to cover your medical bills? Uh, why have 
Haven't you made one of those suits for the rest of us? Hunter, uh, I'm gonna be saying some words about Blaze for the team. We're gathering in the cave right now. Come join us. Hey, um, thanks for coming, everybody. I, I know we're all stretched thin at the moment. We're all here for you, Robbie. We know this is important to you. But we should move things along. I know what you're all thinking. You thought Blaze was a major league asshole. Wow, I thought Professor Xavier was the mind reader, Logan. Quiet, you. Anyway, Blaze. Yeah, he wasn't nice. But it's not a nice world. Sometimes you gotta be that way to get things done. And he really got a lot of things done. So, you kids remember that. You won't always be so fresh-faced and innocent. <sighs> Thanks, Logan. Uh, you said it better than I ever could. To be honest, I, I really struggled with what I was gonna say. Because I used to worship the flaming ground Blaze rode on. And then I met him. And, safe to say, didn't worship him so much anymore. Fairly certain, I hated him. Right until he went and sacrificed his life to save mine. Johnny might not have been perfect, but at the end of the day, he was one of us. And I'm glad to have known him. To Johnny Blaze, 
Johnny Blaze. Johnny Blaze. Johnny Blaze. <sighs> Johnny Blaze. Johnny Blaze. Is that it? Can we go now? Hey, look who's awake. Man, I just wish I could have brought my brother Gabe along. He'd love this place. Is a good girl. It is my Charlie girl. Yeah. Yeah. 